What's going on guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about one that is surprisingly enjoyable. It's a little funky and very animalistic. Uh, it is a clone fragrance as you saw by the thumbnail in the title. We're talking about from Paris Corner in the Emir line. This is called Resurrection. It is a clone of Aqua de Parma's Colonia Oud. Got a lot to say about this one, so stay tuned. So before we jump into this, this was sent to me by the good folks at Aroma Concepts. They did send it my way. I will have a link down in the description if you want to check it out. If you're looking for great, cheap, affordable Middle Eastern fragrances from the brand Paris Corner and all of their different lines and ranges, you're going to want to check out Aroma Concepts here in the U.S. and overseas in Europe. I'll have links to both down below. Now, let's talk about this fragrance. So first and foremost, we'll take a look at the box. So... Part of the Celestial series. Speaking of Celestial, not a fan of that one. It's a Ganymede clone, but this one, this one's been pretty nice so far. So they have these large, tall boxes, extra to Parfum, 100 ml, nothing on the bottom. Some fragrance information on the back. The Emir logo on the top. It's the slide-out type. Foam cut out to fit the bottle. It's a pretty nice box, actually, but it's still just the box. Now, in regard to the bottle, they are hefty. They are quite heavy. See on this plate, it says Resurrection with the Amir logo. You have some more information on the sticker on the bottom. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see that a little bit better. There we go. Extra to Parfum, 100 ml. The cap does hold in place pretty well without clicking in. And it has this large, I believe, I'm not sure if that's an eagle. It doesn't look like an eagle, but wide wings, large bird kind of a brass filled metal with a gold plating you do have some plastic filling there's decent heft to it it's an interesting shape to the cap standard atomizer that puts out a pretty good bit but let's talk about this scent so I have a fresh spray on my hand when this one opens up orange bergamot citrus type of smell I forgot exactly which citruses are in here there's I know orange for sure because the orange is what stands out oud leather oud and leather very fresh citrus oud leather fragrance that's my main takeaways from this there's a little bit of patchouli there's musk and stuff but the main thing is it's a dry somewhat medicinal type of oud a little funky a little medicinal interesting agarwood and then the leather is very dry and animalistic rawhide type of smell not real smoky but like I said, very animalic. This one's something else. The patchouli here offers an earthy tone in the backdrop as it starts to dry. It does not change drastically. That seems to be the thing with a lot of clones. This one's no different. It's pretty straightforward. The citrus hangs out for a long time. I would say even into the like two hour range. The citrus stays around with the oud and the leather. Then it really starts to sub out more for the patchouli. You get the patchouli kind of early on, but the citrus starts to fade and the patchouli and musk kind of take over. The oud does calm down and the leather becomes more of a focal point. Uh, the oud I get more of in the earlier stages than I do in the latter portion. The latter portion, it's more of a creamy woody smell to go with the musk and the patchouli. It's kind of a lightly creamy facet that's still very animalistic at the same time. The scent on this one is strange. I can see this one being polarizing. This one is strange good. You guys will hear me str say strange about a scent profile many different times in many different reviews. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a not so good thing. It's definitely a good thing here. I really enjoy this one. I wore this one a couple of days ago, uh, and I just wanted to remind myself of the scent profile with the fresh spray. This is not going to be for everyone. I can see some be people not being a fan of this. Not everybody's tried Colonia Oud from Aqua de Parma, but if you are a fan of that one and you want an affordable route, now the quality level is not the same. There is the quality difference from the niche versus the Middle Eastern clone. Now, just as importantly, I guess you could say, let's talk about performance. So this one seems to be lights out in performance. If you spray this one beyond five sprays, it's really freaking loud and really long lasting. I've been getting in the 10 hour range on my skin with this one. Eight to 10 hours is the safe range, but it's pretty much consistently been nine, 10, 11 hours range. 
uh, of longevity so it sticks to the skin even for being fresh like it is there's a lot of strong heavy full-bodied notes with agarwood with sandalwood with patchouli and of course with this dry leather smell that it has so longevity is not an issue in projection it's still very airy overall so it actually really gets out and can really grab somebody and I'm, I'm not saying this is going to be the strongest compliment getter because it's more of an enthusiast type of scent profile this is not for the masses this is an interesting kind of conversation piece not everybody's into ouds and leathers like this that's what I dig the most about this it's a little strange it doesn't smell like anything else in my collection the sillage on this one in the moderate side uh, it's not really really heavy the wafts I get after the projection calms down after about two hours is what I get in the strongest portion of its projection then it calms down into the sillage the scent bubble is on that like I said moderate side where it definitely does a pretty good job of reminding me it's there throughout the day throughout the wearing experience um, it's definitely enjoyable but on the stronger side so if you don't want to overwhelm yourself even you might want to be easy on the sprays but if you're looking for a beast on my skin it's definitely a beast final thoughts on Emir Paris Corner Resurrection. I'm quite enjoying this one. My wife's not a big fan of it. I don't see this being a big compliment getter, but it's an enjoyable, interesting fragrance to me. It's a very interesting scent profile. I've never smelled Colonia Oud. I don't know how accurate it is to Aqua de Parma Colonia Oud, but as a standalone, I'm really digging the kind of strange aspect of it being a citrus oud leather fragrance. It's quite nice. I think this one's very good. Not great, not outstanding. It's not an everyday wear situation type of fragrance. So that limits it a little bit. It's more situational for me. But when I want something that offers a little bit of a challenge, to be honest with you, I think this is a good choice for me. I will be wearing this one sporadically moving forward from this point. I think it's very good at a 7.5 out of 10. I'm digging this one. I think it's worthy of getting your nose on. I'm not sure how easy it would be to get samples. But they are pretty cheap. And if you've smelled Colonia Oud, I'm not sure how closely related it is. But I got to say, as a standalone, if you're looking for a citrus-based Oud leather, Paris Corner did a pretty good job. Well, that's my final thoughts on Emir Resurrection from Paris Corner. Once again, thank you to Aroma Concepts for sending this out my way. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this one? Like I said, I, ha I, had I have Celestial Ganymede clone. It gets kind of annoying for me after a few hours because that one's really, really strong too. This one's just as strong. It's beastly fragrance, but I really dig this one. This one's even stranger than that one, but kind of suits what I'm looking for in an odd fragrance scent profile more so. So I really dig this one. So far, this is the one to beat in the Celestial series for me personally. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Resurrection and you give it a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Just know, it's a little bit of a challenge to it. Have a good one, guys.